Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh, I'm so glad I found you. You don't need to introduce yourself to me. I already know. But I'm Luvia, and I'm here to interview you. Did you not get the memo? I sent the letter to your agent about three weeks ago. Well, it was the tavern owner at the Pig's Head. I know you go there a lot, so I asked him, and he said he was your agent. Oh, he was joking. My, my, my. Well, I'm sorry. The appointment is made, and I got all my questions ready. No. No, that's not happening. I don't take no for an answer. Well, I'll just follow you. Well, sucks to suck, but you have a public and I have a job to do. <laughs> Great, let's get started. First question. Did you grow up in the capital, near the palace, or were you like a farmhand? Yeah, nobody knows, and there's a lot of debate. Oh, interesting. Okay. And your parents? You're a famous adventurer, so I'm assuming they are no longer with us? Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Do you think they would go looking for you if you went missing? I'm just wondering. Okay, moving right along, who is your dearest friend, and are they as powerful as you are? Hey, you don't have to raise your eyebrow at every question. You're a famous sorcerer, and this is the price of fame. Although it is kind of hot when you give me that bothered look. Hey, I don't make the rules, but I do make the questions. Are you ready for the next one? No, you can't dodge me. I grew up here. This is my city. Okay, this one is really juicy. How do you respond to the allegations that you break into other people's houses and smash their pottery looking for money? No comment. Oh, I see. Do you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a they them? Single and ready to mingle. I know that's not what you said. You just said you're single, but that's what I'm putting down. Hey, a story's a story. I find that hard to believe. Oh yeah, everyone's attracted to power. Especially power in beautiful robes and a compelling wizard staff. Can I touch it? Oh, okay. Be that way. Hmm? Oh, I have one more question. Oh, why don't we turn here? My house is just at the foot of the hill. Yeah, I can make you some tea and show you my pottery collection. Oh, come on. I saw you smile once or twice. It's just tea. Don't be paranoid. Besides, you'll love the walk. 
All the flowers are in bloom and it gets a lot quieter. <laughs> I can't be that high energy the whole time. I've wanted to meet you for so long. I just don't want it to end. Yeah, that's why I haven't asked my last question. Oh, wait, is there a question you were hoping I'd ask you? What your favorite spell is? <laughs> yeah, I want to know, what is it? Oh, cool, I wasn't expecting that. And you'll come with me for tea? Okay. Okay, my last question is... Have you ever thought about retiring? Not from magic, but from adventuring? Yeah, I... <laughs> That's a weird question for a fan to ask. I mean, your fans care about you, and adventuring is really dangerous. You've done so much, and thwarted so much evil, and you already have so many accomplishments. Have you thought about just stopping before you get killed? You look a little contemplative. Sorry, I didn't mean to end the interview on a down note. Yeah, well, there's that bard who comes through town and he sings about all the things you've done. It sounds like your last adventure really had a close call. I... I got sweaty hands and I was so nervous just listening to it. I'm really glad you're okay. <laughs> you're sweet. You're actually really nice. That's what I thought you'd be like. And here we are. Yeah, it's really remote. And a little small. But I'm gonna turn it into a home. You'll see. After you. It's empty. And dark. Yeah, can you cast, um... A light spell for me? Or any spell? Please? Don't worry about the glowing runes on the floor. Hey. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Don't fight it. It took me a year of research, but I realized that the runes we use to trap demons... Well, they can also trap humans with magic. Aw, oh, you feel dizzy? It's okay. You're just being drained of all your magic. Yeah. I'm sorry. I love you so much. I've loved you since I first heard about you. I can't... I can't let anything happen to you. No, no, it's okay. You're going to love it. And this is your retirement. You've been working so hard. You deserve a break. 
a chance to enjoy life without the obligation of defending everyone around you. Let me take care of you. I have a beautiful home with a room all ready for you. Uh, this place was just a trap. I'll cook you breakfast, and we can cuddle in bed, and you don't have to worry about anything ever again. I've read everything, I've heard everything that you've done, and I know how hard you work. I want you to rest, and more importantly, I want you to be safe. I know that sounds crazy, I know you don't know me, but... But you will. We're gonna get to know each other so well, and you're gonna be crazy about me. Just you wait. Oh... You're so weak, you poor thing. Here, here, I'm just going to put your head in my lap. I'm going to rub your back for you. It's okay. This will be over soon, and then I'll take you home. What? You are tired. Oh, I'm so glad. It, it doesn't sound like a monstrous thing, then. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to give you the life you deserve, to take care of your every need. Come here. I've waited so long for this. To have you in my arms. I never imagined you'd be willing. I'm glad I was right. I knew you needed a break. Come here. Ooh. There's more where that came from. Just relax. Let the room seep out all of your magic. Take a deep breath in, feel my hand on your back, you deserve this, you deserve love and safety and comfort, and I'm glad you were able to accept a good thing, even if it came in an unusual package, and this is going to be great, when you wake up, we'll start our new life together. It's okay. You can go to sleep. I'm going to guard you and keep you safe. I've dreamed of this moment for so long, I... I just want to savor every second of it. You have no idea how special you've been to me. I've kept you in my heart and my thoughts every night, every day. And now I finally have you. I don't know how you were able to bring me so much comfort and plant the seed of obsession in me. You did that before I even knew you. And that's why I don't feel bad about draining your magic. There's already something magical about you. Something extraordinary. And it's all mine now. Thank you. <laughs>